The purpose of the fillet command is to create rounds or filleted edges on objects. I can start the fillet command by using its uh, tool panel icon where it shares a flyout with chamfer or I can type fillet from the keyboard or use its keyboard alias F. When I start the fillet command it wants me to select the first object so it goes immediately into the fillet command. But looking down here on the command line, I can see what its current settings are. Mode equals trim, which means it's going to trim off any excess lines, and the radius is set to 0.5. I can go ahead and start picking objects. Pick first and then the other, and it creates a 0.5 radius arc at that corner and trims off the excess lines. And it also ends the command uh, for a one-time use. Now if I wanted to change the radius, I would activate my fillet command and I can right click and you notice that I have a series of options. Radius is one of them. So I can specify the radius. In this case, I want the radius to be 3 eighths of an inch. I'm just going to enter 3 slash 8 from the keyboard and now I'll click on this line and this line and I've created a 3 eighths inch radius at that corner. If I want to repeat my fillet command, I can right click the mouse, choose repeat, and I'm going to change the radius back to 0.5. I can use the keyboard shortcut of R and enter, and, I, and then I can enter a new radius. My lines don't have to meet. Here's a situation where I have lines uh, that don't meet, but I can still use the fillet command, and you'll notice that the fillet is created at that intersection and the lines are either trimmed or extended uh, to complete the uh, radius corner. Um, my lines don't have to be parallel to each other, they can be at any angle. So here I have two lines that meet at an angle. Picking those two, it calculates the fillet. Here I have two lines that don't meet, that are angle at an angle to each other. Using my fillet command, you notice that it extends or it trims those lines to find the proper tangent radius for that corner. Now it's important to note where on the, the line or the arc that you pick is going to make a difference on how the fillet is created. For example, if I have these two lines that cross each other, if I were to choose these lines uh, to the outside, it's going to create a fillet in that direction. But if I choose the line on the other side, it will fill, create the fillet on the inside direction. So you need to look at the objects and decide which way you want the fillet to go, and you have to choose accordingly. In this situation, if I were to choose this line and this line, it will fill it that corner. And I do have a limitation here. If I uh, try to fill at this corner, you'll notice it refuses, says radius is too large, and that's an invalid choice. I can also use my fillet command to create fillets between circles, lines, and arc segments. In this case, if I wanted to create a fillet between this line and the circle, I could create the fillet, and you notice that the circle isn't trimmed, but the fillet is created. If I wanted to create a fillet between this arc segment and this line, pick the line and pick the arc segment, and it will extend and trim. If I wanted to create a fillet between these two circles, use my fillet command, and it will find uh, the appropriate tangent points. Now if I need to create several fillets, uh, all using the same radius, I do have some options. I'm going to start my fillet command, and the uh, radius is still set for 0.5, and I'm going to choose the multiple option. With this, once I create one fillet, you notice my fillet command doesn't end, and I can continue to use that same fillet radius to create multiple fillets. With this activated, let's look at how fillet would work with arc segments. If I click on arc segments, 
it works just as effectively in calculating the tangent points and creating the the fillet at the corner. Fillet will also work with parallel lines. In fact, it will automatically calculate the needed radius to round the end of the two lines, regardless of how what radius I've set in my uh, radius command. So I'm going to choose these two lines. I'll get my fillet command and notice I'm going to choose the longer line first near the end point of the longer line and then choose the shorter line and it uses that end point uh, to create the fillet and extends the shorter line. If I were to choose the shorter line first and then the longer line uh, it will trim the longer line back to create that fillet. If I had a situation where I wanted to trim these lines back to their intersection point without having any fillet at all, I have two options that I can use with my fillet command. One would be to activate the fillet command, right click, and for the radius amount set it to zero. With the radius set to zero, it creates a trimmed corner with no fillet applied. But it's kind of, uh, of a hassle to set your uh, fillet radius to zero each time you want to do that. So another option is you have a toggle key using the shift key on the keyboard. So I can activate my fillet command and you'll notice that down here on the command line it says that my radius is set to 0 0.5. By holding down the shift button and choosing the two objects that I'd like to fillet, you'll notice that it adds a zero radius fillet to that corner. So holding down the shift is really a toggle to turn on zero radius. In working with fillets with polylines, here I have a uh, polyline segment and here I have some closed polylines. If I use my regular fillet command, so I'll say fillet, and notice that I'm still set for 0.5. If I click on the two line segments uh, around on either side of a corner, it will fill it that particular corner. But if I use my fillet command and right click and use my polyline option, click on a polyline, it will round all of the segments that, it, that would fit using that particular radius. So I can use that same option with closed polylines like this rectangle. I'll say fillet, right click, use my poly polyline option, click on it, it's rounded all the corners to 0.5. Or in the case of a polygon, I'll say uh, fill it, and then I'll right click, use the polyline option, and it rounds each of those corners to 0.5.